Welcome back, everybody. We are going to continue working on our whole page layouts and working on alignment and grids and all that stuff. OK, so today we are going to practice making like an advertisement. OK, so we're going to lay out a page and let's say we've been given like half a page in a magazine or something like this. OK, so we're going to do half of a letter size paper so we could punch in the numbers here or you just cut it in half. Let's just open up a letter size paper. Let's just do it this way. All right, clean up my mess going on over here. You, I want to keep you. Oh, I want to keep you. There you go. Though I like color up by swatches. That didn't work. <laughs> let's try it one more time. There we are. Okay, so let's say we got a half page ad. So first thing I'm going to do the first thing you want to do whenever you're making anything is know the size. You've got to know the size of what you're making and that's going to dictate a lot. Okay. So let's pull out the ruler and we know we have a half of a page. We'll say they're letter size pages. And I don't think in these points here, I'm going to change it to inches by right clicking on it. And there we go. We got eight and a half. And then we have 11. So I need to cut this in half here. Let's say we have half, like not, not half long. What is that? What do they call them kids? Uh, hot dog style, not that half. We want hamburger style halves, okay? I don't know if that's, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you don't. That's a way to show kids which way to fold papers. Okay, uh, move it on. Why is this, you know, come on, let's get this right. There we go. Okay, so I wanna go to the artboard right here, the artboard. There it is. That gives me the uh, ability to change the size of my page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag this down. And I'm looking over at the numbers up there. And I'm bringing this down. And I want it to go to five and a half. So let me zoom in. I'm gonna get Command Plus, Command Plus, or Control if you are a PC person. And now I'm bringing this up and I'm looking at the ruler over here and you can see how the it gives you a little line to kind of uh, tell you where you're at. So let me see here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Eight and a half, uh -huh. four. Actually, it doesn't look good. <laughs> I need to go down one more. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four, five and a half. There we are. This is where I want to be, people. This is where I want to be. That gives me half of a page. Okay, that looks, yeah, there we go. Look at 5.508. Let's get that, let's get rid of that eight there. Here we go, 5.5. .5. I got it perfectly in line. Eight and a half, there we go. We can ignore the rest. And I hit return, which you don't need to do. I'm just used to doing that from other programs. Let's just get out of the artboard by pressing something else. And there we go. Okay, we have got our space that we need to fill with our ad. Okay, so we want to add a grid and um, we're going to have pictures and text in there. So if you got a job here, the first thing you need to know is how much space you've got. You've got to know what they want to put in there. And so I've got a little uh, thing I typed up just to be, you know, whatever. It's not very serious. It's my last name. And like I've got a Mexican bistro, uh, Mexican bistro, let's say that correctly. And... I need an ad for it, okay? Let's pretend it's not me. But so somebody gave you text or, or stuff to put in your ad. Now, a lot of times people don't give you exactly what you need. They don't kind of realize the concept that they have to give you what they want to say. Um, I've had several times where people want me to create something and I'm like, well, what do you want it? And they're like, oh, I don't know, uh, this, that. I'm like, okay, well, what about your address? What about, like, they don't really have, have it thought out, um, especially if it's a smaller job, you know, with a smaller uh, company or something that they're not, maybe used to doing this sort of thing. So you need to make sure that they give you exactly what they want on it, exact wording, make them type it. Uh, sometimes they'll like write things down and like send pictures of text. And I'm like, you know, you type it, you give it to me. If I can get, if I can get them to do that, I will, because that way, if there's any error, it's on them. If there's any spelling error or anything, um, you know, it's, it's on them. And I'm like, I just copied and pasted your text. So anyways, you need text. So I will include this in the comments. I will uh, try and include the text in case you want to do this along with me. And so there's my text. 
and we need photos. Okay, so we're gonna get some photos to choose from. And I got some photos and I'm gonna show you how to get them. And we're gonna get some free photos. So I'm gonna go uh, Creative Commons. So I'm just gonna do a search and there it is right there. And just a place where you can go to get um, images that are up for use, okay? Creative Commons means that, uh, you know, everybody can use them. Uh, nobody's claiming like ownership over these to um, pay rights on or anything like that. And because this is, you know, on whatever, because we're gonna be using these, we're not, this is not a real ad, so it probably wouldn't even matter in the end, but I do wanna show you how to get some uh, images if you need to, and for free. Uh, there we go. So I'm gonna just type in, cause I got, oh, there it is. Look, it already typed in here. Mexican food. So I just typed that in and found a bunch of images, okay? So in this list, you would probably be able to find the exact ones I have, but you don't necessarily need to. We're just using them as placeholders for images. Uh, again, this is not a serious ad, not a serious restaurant. It's just for, um, you know, us to use. Okay, so this is Creative Commons. Uh, there are licenses, so I, I, you do have to pay more attention if you're actually gonna use something here to, for a real job, um, you would need to make sure that they've made it totally like public for use because um, some, well here, you can even click here, use. Okay, so these ones would let you use things commercially, but sometimes they have stipulations on um, if they want credit or something or, you know, but, but for this, for practice, Creative Commons is uh, more than adequate um, to go get these images and use them just for, um, you know, for practice. <laughs> okay, so let's get out of that. We've got some images, we've got our text. Now we need a grid. Okay, that's first step is get ourselves a grid and start with a margin. So let's see. Um, how thick would we want to make our margin? So I'm going to go ahead and drag over from the side ruler over there and drag a guide over. Now, if I go half an inch, that's pretty thick. I don't think I want to go any thinner than that necessarily. Now you can, and people do make ads that run right up and use all the space. I'm not necessarily sure I want to. I think I, I'm just going to try half an inch for now. Let me redo that and zoom in. So my layer one, creating my grid. And again, same issue I had before. When I lift up my pen, I move a little bit. It's because when you lift your pen, you kind of like bring it up at an, like you rotate it up, you know, like with your fingers and I don't bring it straight up. That's just kind of not how you work pens and pencils in that. So one instance when maybe a mouse would be better. But then again, like if I use my trackpad, because I'm on a laptop here, but I use my trackpad, then it's even worse. But let's see. Oh, no, the trackpad's good for this too. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have a margin. That's great. Now, we want to keep our text within whatever margin we set. Whatever margin we create, we want to keep our text in there. Images, there's a little more leeway. All right, we can go out with images or something that's kind of more of a graphic thing, you can go out of your bounds. Um, even text you can if you use it more graphically. But for this, for the basics, let's just uh, stick with our margins here, for now at least. And let's see. So now I've got eight and a half. I've cut out a uh, inch total. So now I should have seven and a half inches here total. So. I have to think about how I want to lay out my ad. And the first thing I guess I'd do is I'd look at my text and let's kind of see what's going on here. Info, 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 um, paragraphs. So info is going to be easy to kind of put around. The paragraphs, I have to think of how I want to deal with this. Do I want to deal with it in two columns? Do I want to create one big module, let me see. I think, I mean, easily I could do this in half, but I'm not sure that's gonna give me enough options in terms of placing things. 
So maybe I'll try breaking it up into a third, but that's going to be pretty tricky. So let's let's see if we can do this across into thirds. Oops, I got out of there. Okay, so I've got seven inches, and we're all made up of these. Um, at this distance, um, we got one, two, three, four. We got eight. So let me see. Let me get out the calculator real quickly. There you are, calculator. So I have, just double checking here, it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. So that would be seven times eight. That's a pretty easy one. I think I even know that by heart. <laughs> 56 plus the four for the extra half, which is gonna give me 60. Okay, that's pretty fantastic because 60 divided by three is 20. That's fantastic. Easy uh, to break that up into thirds. So let's go for it here. So again, this is the kind of boring part of the video here. We got to just count. So let me drag a guide and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And there we are. And then 20. Whoa, you moved on me. Get back into place here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, now let's make sure we got twenty in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, of course, because it's two, eighteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So that's nice and easy. We've got a nice division. Uh, and then going down, how are we going to want to lay out our grid? And we'll add gutters and all that stuff in a second, but let's just get the basic kind of grid laid out. Um, for some reason, this section feels larger to me. This is why I always do a little test. I mean, I know I counted it. It should be fine, but sometimes things are wonky. Let's check you. It is like slightly larger just with the way I set my guides. I don't think it's worth sweating. Let's take you out of here. Let's just get rid of you. There we go. Okay, and now for going down. So we, uh, it's five and a half. We took off an inch, so we got four and a half, right? Now I know it's eight segments here per inch, so four times eight. 8 is 32, plus 4 for the half is 36. So 36 is a good number for us here. 36 divided by 3 is 12. That would give us a nice um, grid with three columns and three rows. Let's just do that. Okay, okay. Zoomed in here. So... It's gonna double my segments here. So let me let me get to the right spot here. Actually, let me zoom back out because it's got me all confused. So I got 12, so four, right? I know this is eight, nine, ten. So it's gonna be right at the two inch mark, right? Eight plus four is 12. Okay, perfect, perfect. So I got eight and a half. Right, so that the half inch is gonna give me that other four. There we go. All right, so now I've got a nice little grid here with four, I'm sorry, four, I can't count, three, three columns, three rows, that's fantastic. Okay, good place to start. Now, now we've got to make gutters. Okay, so now here's the interesting thing about making the gutters is if I, like let's say I wanna make it a uh, half inch as well. The gutter's a half inch. It might be a little big, but we'll, we'll see, a half inch. So if I do it a half inch, I am taking away two spaces to, let's say this is, right, the, the spaces out of this segment, this column right here, taking away two, and then I'm gonna take away two from the middle one. But, 
But the problem is when I make the next gutter, I'm taking another two away from this middle one and then only two away from this one right there. So that presents a problem. I've got a middle column that's thinner than the two outside columns. So I need to adjust things a little bit. I need to adjust things a little bit. And unfortunately for me, with my mind, I got to kind of visualize the whole thing. So here we go. I'm going to need to move it over. And I'm going to need to make my columns, I mean, my uh, margins a little thinner to compensate uh, for this middle column here. Okay, this middle, uh, um, yeah, the middle column. I said it right. <laughs> okay, so let's just let's just uh, think through this here. So if I, if I, let's say I slide it over one, and I go instead of going two over, I go three segments over, and then for this one, I just move it one over. Okay, so I've taken away three segments from this section right here. I've taken away one section from this segment over here. So let's do the same thing on this side. So I've got one on this side right here. And I've got three, one, two, three on this section right here. So all in all, I have one, two, three, four. Okay, that's great. That gives me a, a, a half inch, just like these sides. But now this side is one, this section is one section, one segment larger. So let me see here, watch. When I make this uh, box in here and I move it over here, we are one segment larger on this side. Okay, so what if, What if we, we got two options here? We can either make our margins one thinner. So we'll have, there we go, like that. And we'll have our margins a little thinner. Or we can make our gutters a little thinner. So we can have a section here, section here, and the section here like that, which is what I think I'll do. I think I'd rather have a thinner gutter than a uh, th thinner margin. <laughs> Let me get it straight here. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to leave my margin where it is. And this guide here, I'm going to have to move over. Okay. So let me go ahead and put that there. Okay. Let me go ahead and do it on this other side over here while I got it in my brain. Okay. So let me, I'll scooch this over. I'm gonna use my shape just to remind me. Okay, and now I wanna get rid of the margins that I don't want. And here's the, the fun part. Oh, I, I got it right the first time. Okay, so that's the one I don't want here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and throw it in the trash. Over here, we don't want this one right there. So I'm just taking wild guesses here. But you know what I want? I want those to be gone anyways. There it is right there. Okay, cool. Perfect. I'm going to throw that away. Okay, cool. Okay, so we have our gutter of three here. And then now we're going to have to try and work it out going um, down. Okay, so gonna, we're going to put a gutter in there too. And so the same thing is going to happen. So we know we're going to have to make an adjustment. Let's see how much we can compensate for it ahead of time. Get that thing right in place. Okay, so I'm going to keep the gutter the same. I know I'm going to keep it in segments of three. I know that I need to cut into this middle space. Um, twice from the top and the bottom. So I'm going to do that. Oh, wait a minute. I zoomed in. I knew I got, I knew I got in too close. Okay. Let me stay out. There we are. All 
Okay, so now I've cut into this one twice. So my new size is gonna be that. And now I wanna go uh, cut two above, above the middle space. And then here we go on this line, I'm gonna go two below. Okay, and I'll double check here. So all my sections should now be, I can't say that fast. All my sections, sh all my sections should now be the same. It's like a tongue twister. Okay, and they look like they are. Yay. All right, cool. All right, almost there. Just need to get rid of those uh, two lines I don't need. So let's try to find them. Let's go line hunting. That's not even a line. Where are those? That certainly is not it. Oh, there's one, found one. I put it down with his other ones down here. I keep hitting the wrong thing. Line hunting. I feel like I'm getting, nope, I'm not. Okay, I'm just gonna have to go one by one. Wish I had a magic formula. I guess I should have named these lines, but I've never once ever named a guide. Hey, and there it is. It was right in line already with it. Okay, cool. There we are. We have our grid after all that time. Took a little while, but you know what? Patience and neatness goes a long way in art and it goes very, very long ways in graphic design. Okay, we will get to con uh, constructing our ad and laying out the text and the images in the next video. And I hope to see you guys there.